Okay, now that we have successfully installed Jenkins on our computer, let's take a tour of the user interface. If you have logged out already, log in again. I am going to log in as well. Great, now I have logged in successfully. This is a fresh installation. So by default, this is how the user interface looks when you log in the first time. Let's take a tour of the user interface. Your login name will appear here. This is my login name. And when you click here, you can click on Builds, Configure, My Views, Credentials. We will look at that in a minute. Here you can log out. On this side of the dashboard, we have a new item. People, Build History, Manage Jenkins, My Views, Build Queue, Build Executor Status. And here in the middle, we have some options as well to start building your software project, create a job, set up a distributed build, set up an agent, configure a cloud, learn more about distributed build. And here we can click on the REST API. Shows here the version of Jenkins that we have installed. And here we have the add description to our Jenkins installation. But now let's begin here. If I click on new item, this page will open, enter an item name. We haven't got any item at the moment because it is a fresh installation. However, we can see here fresh start project. We want to do that. Pipeline, multi-configuration project folder, multi-branch pipeline, organization folder. So we are not going to do anything with this for now. We are just taking a tour of the user interface. I will go back to the dashboard. For people, here I have only one user at the moment. This was the user that I created when we were installing it. So if we were having more users, they would all appear here. And build history. This is where you can look at your build history. At the moment, we don't have any build history to look at. So it is just by default. Manage Jenkins. Here, we have so many things that we can do on this page. Here we have the system configuration session. We have the security session. We have the status information, system information included, the troubleshooting area, the tools and actions. So we are not going to look at all of them for now, but let's just quickly look at configure system. If I click on this one here, so it shows a display configure system. And here we have a the home directory which is this part c drive it is on my c drive here c colon backslash program data jenkins backslash dot jenkins then system message this is where we can enter system message we are not going to do that for now there is a lot that we can do on this uh, configure system page we will come to it later in another video my views this folder is empty at the moment we haven't created any jobs yet if we wanted to create a job we could create it here the build executor status by default it shows only two but we can increase this one later let's go back to the dashboard I'll click again on Manage Jenkins. 
here we can do configuration for the global tool and here we can manage plugins add plugin remove plugin or disable a particular plugin for system information we get information about the jenkins version we are using for example if i click here now on see the version and license information yes here it shows that i have jenkins 2.361.4 installed again under status information system information if i click on this one it gives more information here system properties name value executable one that's the part c program file jenkins jenkins one and this is where i will find it so there is a lot more information here which i'm not going to go through for now so i'll go back to the dashboard here i'm going to click on views it will take me to the same page we saw before here we can see some options but at the moment it's just empty we haven't got any build to run here if i click here on configure it will take me to this page here this is my full name and this is where i can add some description i'm not going to configure it at the moment for the api token we can add new tokens here but i'm not going to do that for now here we can configure email extend job notification change password and so on if i click on my views it will take me to this page at the moment the folder is empty we haven't created any jobs yet if we wanted to create one we will do it here now credentials here it stores a scope to user zebra code channel so the user detail here system global and so on okay i click on I click on dashboard and it will bring me to this page again here i can click on manage jenkins on this page manage jenkins under security i can manage users create delete modify users that can log into this jenkins if i click on this now here it gives me the option to create a user i click on it here i can create a user on this page i'm not going to do it now this was just to give you a tour of the jenkins user interface I click on dashboard to take me back to more or less the home page so in the next video i will show you how to configure jenkins thank you for watching see you in my next video bye for now